You're still watching New Day here on TV3. My name is Anako Jaffrey with the latest sports update. It's a massive day of football in the Ghana Premier League. And the entire focus of the program will be um, to preview the game between Accra Hearts of Folk and Kumasiya Sante Kotoko. Match day 10 of the Ghana Premier League. But on Sunday, seven games took place across all the seven centers of the Ghana Premier League. We do have the results for you. And as you can see on your screens, Bechem United beat Wafa by two goals to zero. So what it means is that Wafa have not been able to win a single game on the road. Dreams FC returned to winning ways in Deu after losing their game to Asante Kotoko by beating Hazakas by two goals to one. Ebusua Dwarves then also drew one all with Ashanti Gold at the Robert Mensah Sports Stadium in Cape Coast. Liberty Professionals, that was a shocking result. They were stunned by Indiana Stars by three goals to two. Latif Blessing, the leading goal scorer of the Ghana Premier League, registered the first goal, but um, Adriana Stas came back in it and it was Yaya Mohamed who then again scored to make it 3-2 in favor of Liberty Professionals. Mediama were not doing so well in the Ghana Premier League, but they beat the league leaders Wild wow, Stars by one goal to zero. New Edibiase were also 2-1 winners against Brecum Chelsea and Inter Allies also drew one all with Techiman City. They had to come back into that game at the Tema Sports Park. So as you rightly saw on the fixture list that the only game left on match day 10 is a Kraha to Folk versus Kumasiya Sante Kotoko. In the following preview, you hear from most of the key actors that will be doing the, the football on the field of play. You hear from a Kraha to Folk coach Kenichi Yashuashi. You hear from Cosmos Dauda, who is a promising striker for a Kraha to Folk. You hear from the CEO of Kumasiya Sante Kotoko, Opoko Inti. You hear from Vincent Odote, as well as Kobna Yabua, who has covered this match over three decades. Let's see the preview to that game. For the past six seasons, the Phobians have not won a league game against the fabulous Kumasi Asante Kotoko at the Accra Sports Stadium. It will be a game the fans have been waiting for since the commencement of the Ghana Premier League season. But both sides are not on the same level regarding their respective performances in the ongoing campaign. The Phobians are having a bright start to the league for the first time in seven seasons. The current resurgence of the Accra Giants has been credited to coach Kenichi Yatsuhashi, who is currently being regarded as one of the best coaches in the league. Hearts of Oak, after nine league games, have amassed 18 points and they occupy the second position on the log sheet. In their last league game, they recorded a convincing 1 2 win over Shanti Gold, their first in nine years. Kumasiya Sante Kotoko, on the other hand, haven't been as consistent. They were poor in their first six games of the season, but they returned to winning ways by recording back-to-back -back victories against Liberty Professionals and Dreams FC. At a point when the club's fans thought Kotoko have regained their form, they were stunned at home by Edubiase by a goal to nil. On paper, it shows clearly that currently Hearts of Oak are favourites ahead of Kumasiya Sante Kotoko, but matches between the two sides are very dicey. Inform Hearts of Oak forward Cosmos Dauda ahead of Monday's clash told TV3 Sports that it will be a tough game, but he is sure of his side's victory. Uh, it's, it's a good booster for me. Uh, as a striker, like I said, your trademark is scoring. And so I believe I can take this into the subsequent games. Going through a series of trainings, like theoretical and practical, to me, myself, uh, all I need is just the belief and the confidence. And that's the magic. Kumasi Asante Kotoko Chief Executive Officer of Pukunti is unperturbed regarding Hearts of Folk form. Accra Hearts of Folk against Kotoko. Everything goes with it. This time is for both, but I pray that uh, Kotoko will come out victorious. We win against Accra Hearts of Folk. Well, I've been praying Accra Hearts of Folk against Kotoko since 1980. Till the time that uh, I went to professional, even I came back and uh, pray 
against Accra House of Folk. What I believe in is how you yourself you prepare before the game. It's very, very, very important. The self-discipline, the training very, very hard to get your fitness at a certain level is very, very important. Then the mental toughness, no matter what. It's a big game and it can make you or make you. So I believe that uh, you need to have self-confidence. No one can motivate you better than yourself. So if you are fit, you can also still motivate yourself. So the fitness is number one or the paramount of this game. Hats of Oak have battled Kumasi Asante Kotoko for 102 times in the Ghana Premier League. The Phobians have won 34, drawn 36 and lost 32 times. Since the start of the professional league in Ghana in 1993-94, the two sides have met 41 times. Accra Hats of Oak have picked 15 wins, lost 9 and drawn 17 times. In that period, the Accra Giants have scored 47 goals as against Kumasi Asante Kotoko's 38. Several factors come to play whenever the two sides come against each other in a tie. The impact of Juju, form guide, player quality, the influence of the coach on his team, the impact of fans, motivation, determination and many others. Uh, it's the biggest uh, rivalry the going back you know, from the beginning of the uh, uh, form of two uh, clubs. Uh, I think that's something that uh, our, our fans are, are enjoying, you know, and uh, we are enjoying, our fans are enjoying. Our players are really um, enjoying this exciting moment. You know, I, I think it's just, uh, as a footballers, uh, it's a moment that we are waiting for, you know, so it's, it's a good moment to enjoy. At this moment, uh, anything comes out, or anything comes in, uh, to my way, either uh, superstition or uh, anything, uh, it's just a destruction for me, you know, uh, I think how well I can um, avoid anything else outside myself and football uh, is a key. In football, the most determining factor that decides the outcome of the games is the form guide of the team. However, most fans in the country believe it is the least to talk about when Hearts of Oak engage Kumasi Asante Kotoko, as they go by the saying that form guide doesn't work in games between them. Hearts of Oak are second on the league table, but if you look at the point gap, it's not that big, isn't it? Um, between Hearts and Kotoko, is only seven points. So it's not that big. The league has only started. And between Haas and Kotoko, it's not even about amassing points. It's about more of pride. And the most interesting thing, which I find a bit weird and awkward, is the fact that we've had coaches losing their jobs because they've lost to one of these sides. We've had chairmen being sacked before because they've lost to one of these sides. So it's always a defining moment in the history of these clubs. On Monday, uh, on paper, Haas should start as the favorites. They have been more consistent, and as I indicated, the pedigree of some Yebua is said, I don't think that Kodok can boast of somebody like that. You know, so they should start as the favorites, uh, also because of what they have achieved so far. But as I indicated, form guide is nothing to talk about between these two sides. So, yes, Hash should start as the favorites, but it could go either way. But so far as I'm concerned, Hash start as a favorite. Meanwhile, the league game between the two Giants has produced 12 games in the month of May since 1958. The hosts of the Monday encounter, Accra Hearts of Oak, have enjoyed four wins, whereas visitors Kumasi Asante Kotoko have recorded three victories. However, five of their engagements in Accra in the month of May have registered a win apiece, with three games ending in draws. One other thing worth noting is that two of the three bloody stampedes in their encounters happened in the month of May. The first was on May 3, 1978 in Kumase. About four people lost their lives. On May 9, 2001, 127 people lost their lives in the worst stadium disaster on the African continent. Club, we are very well prepared and we are working with the stakeholders, the National Security, National Sports Authority, the GFA, the PLB, to make sure that everything is, is in place to ensure that people who come to this stadium uh, feel safe, to ensure that the, 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 the officials, everybody feels safe, just come to enjoy themselves, especially when May 9th is just a few days away. So we can assure you that we have put everything in place to ensure that uh, Monday becomes a memorable match 
a memorable day for the right reasons and especially for Accra Hearts of Oak, not for the wrong reasons as May 9 did 15 years ago. I'm in no doubt that Hearts of Oak will come at a stronger club, a better club and a stronger brand after Monday. 15 years after what happens, we have, we have learned from our mistakes. They say the wise person learned from his mistake, but the wisest learned from the others. Those who were not directly affected, they have learned from the others. And I believe since then it has, it has not happened again. We have to keep on reminding ourselves that it should not come again because it's not a good thing to encounter. So uh, my, my message there is let peace reign among us. Football is a game. After the game, we become brothers and sisters again. We are one nation with one people. The long-awaited fixture of the Ghana Premier League will be played on Monday in Accra to determine who gets the bragging rights when Accra Hearts of Oak take on Kumasi Asante Kotoko. So it's a holiday, the place to be is the Accra Sports Stadium for that game between Accra Hearts of Folk and Kumasi Asante Kotoko. But Hearts fans have turned the style on this season and for the young generation of Phobian followers, it tells on how massive support for the club used to be some, um, until some five seasons ago. The situation has changed this season. The attendance for games has improved game after game and Chapter O of Accra Hearts of Folk are leaving nothing to chance. <laughs> The numbers are more appealing than before. The kind of atmosphere under which players love to play the beautiful game. More than ever, Hearts fans will want to fill their Cross Sports Stadium with the belief they are better side than Kotoko this season, based on the evidence of the kind of football they have played under their Japanese American coach Kenichi Yashuhashi. It's drizzling, but leaders of the popular heart support wing Chapter O are preparing for Monday's game. Chairman Salima Wa predicts a 2-0 victory for the Phobians. That Monday is, uh, is an extraordinary Monday. It's a different house of folk and Kotoka has never played on Monday before. It's going to be the first time and the first time is going to be the show and a show for Accra house of folk. We make the history for Kotoko to follow. We set the history. You can bear me witness between House and Kotoko who said the history. You have three nil, four nil, it is there. And this time they are going to take just two goals to nil. Earlier this month, the club was charged with fans' misconduct after they threw water bottles and other objects onto the field of play in protest of refereeing decisions against them. Organizer Muntari Ali tells TV3 Sports it is not in their DNA to be violent. We are in support of no oliganism in stadium. And to all Accra House of Folk fans, football is about three things, lose, win or draw. Whatever comes on your way, you have to take it. They love him for how well he has transformed the team. And this song will echo at the Accra Sports Stadium on Monday. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
that's how charged the atmosphere is going to be at the Accra Sports Stadium. Already we understand that there are long queues for tickets because already the um, other tickets that were put out on sale have all been sold out. So just get a ticket to or be at Accra Sports Stadium and get your ticket and watch that game between Accra Hatsufuk and Kumasi Asante Kotoko. We can only make our football better. That's all the sports on New Day. My name is Anako Jaffrey.